it's Sarah. I am here with Chase and today's video we're going to show you how to introduce a brand new puppy to a home with a dog aggressive dog. Soon you're going to meet Rosie who's going to come out. I've trained Rosie so she knows me and what I'm doing is I'm just sitting here with the puppy. She's going to recognize me, you'll notice me focusing all sorts of attention and little Chase will be an afterthought in her first introduction with her new brother. You're the new brother. Welcome. Welcome little man. Good boy. Oh, Rosie, you're up. Hi, girl. It's your teacher. It's your teacher. Come here, Rosie, girl. Come here. Oh, you want to say hi to Aria? Nice, nice, nice. Good girl, Rosie. How's Rosie? How's Rosie? Do you have some snacks I can give her? Oh, here's your treat cup. Good girl. Oh, come on over here, Gillen. Come on. Good. Here, you guys give her some too. One big celebration. See how the focus is off the puppy? Uh -huh. Rosie girl, no oh, down. This is the cameraman. The cameraman. <laughs> this is, what yep. is it? It's a thing. Huh? Oh, good girl. Good girl. She looks like she has a t shirt too. Good. Good. Rosie. Gentle. He says, oh, are those good? I would like to have one of those. <laughs> good girl. So you see how it's very casual? Yeah. Good girl. And you could do this for those of you watching with any friend of the family, watching the puppy who the dog knows and loves. So the focus is really not on the puppy, but on mm -hmm. greeting the friend who's come for a visit. The puppy just happens to be in your lap. Good girl. Rosie! <laughs> Rosie, have a snack. Good girl. Good girl. Aw, sit, Rosie. Good girl. Here, come sit. Stay, sit, stay. Good girl. Okay, so step two. We have brought the little pup tent onto Rosie's property just on the edge here. Rosie's going to come over. I'm going to put puppy in the tent. And again, all the focus is going to be on Rosie. Rosie, my girl. My girl. Hi, sweetheart. Good girl. Let's get our treat. We play find it. We're having a little find it game. Good girl. So we just play find it, putting the treats down. Not right at the puppy, but so she's around the puppy. Good. Don't worry about the puppy. Good. If it's cold or the puppy seems scared in any way, which this puppy doesn't, get someone assigned to the puppy that's outside the family. Good. Rosie's beginning to hear the whimper and the whining. While well, we're playing find it. Everybody love on Rosie. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you got that thing. There we go. All right, now let's just let Rosie kind of come a little closer to the tent. Good, find it nice. Excellent. Good. So she's beginning to say, hmm. Let's see the puppy. We're going to throw it not too close. We don't want to force them into each other's space because that can cause a, like a combustion. But just nearby. Good girl, she's Thank taking you, it all in stride. Good. So you might want to use something like this in the house, especially if you're introducing to the puppy to, in different rooms, so that Rosie isn't just overwhelmed by the motions and excitements of the puppy. The puppy's honestly like, probably gonna think of her as his mother. She, um, she may like that or she may not. We're not she so sure. She probably thinks that already. I think so. <laughs> All right, so let's get them a little bit closer. Let's bring her into your, Rosie's yard, into the backyard where Rosie likes to play. <laughs> so she's already got it. She runs over, looks at the puppy, and then comes to you for a treat. That's what you want her association to be. If the puppy means I get more, more attention. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Love on Rosie. What a good girl. By introducing
giving chase in very non-threatening situations, letting Rosie get comfortable with his scent and his presence and linking his sudden appearance with positive reinforcement, the family was able to bring the two together relatively quickly, making the addition of the puppy into the family as smooth as it can be. And just say, oh, look at what we have, Rosie. Mama, come over. So, I so when we go in, I'm going to do the same thing I did outside at the rock. I'm just going to sit like he's my little puppy, let her get used to him being there as non-threatening, and then we'll set her down in the gate. It's your new home. Rosie, wait. Okay. Rosie, she says, wait a minute. Why is it inside? Who's that good girl? in the puppy, which is very good. So by having that smaller canvas crate inside, you can move it around. If you're having dinner, you can move it here. Anytime she goes over, you craze mm -hmm. her. Starting tomorrow, somebody, her least favorite person in the house, which I know she loves everybody, can do a little holding, and it's the same routine we're practicing. And as she grows to accept and see the puppy as non-threatening, you can all start doing this. This is just a calming. We're using the soothing effects of mother tongue. We're petting very gently. See how she's petting you? That yeah. makes the puppy feel safe and calm. So just ignore her for a minute. So she has to go pay attention to him to get your attention. You follow? Is that enough? But it's perfect. Look how calm she is. <laughs> when you're picking puppy up. <laughs> You want to go on either side of the ribs, hold the ribs, and just wrap them into you like a football. <laughs> then when you're putting down, same thing, ribs, rib, because you want the puppy to be very secure. If you hold them too loose or you pick them up like that, they may flip right over. So rib to rib and fold in. You want to try, sweetie? When introducing a puppy to a multi-dog household, Go slow. Do not ever just bring a puppy in and plop them down in your living room. Your resident dogs will freak out and the puppy will be scared to death. Plan a greeting in a neutral spot or section of your property your dogs don't often frequent. Set up a wire X pen and ask a friend or neighbor to sit with your puppy while you handle the dogs. Someone that the dogs aren't particularly familiar with. Introduce each of your dogs separately. Walk them over in the area of the X-Pen when they, quote, stumble upon the pe puppy. Act very nonchalant, ah, just a puppy. Play with them, give them favorite treats, tossing them away from the pen, playing games like find it, or can't catch me with a treat cup. Play with their toys. While they're kind of going back and forth with the puppy, once they've integrated the presence of the pup, go back, bring in the next dog, go through the same procedure. Now, as uh, your dogs meet the puppy, if any of them are severely aggressive, you need to hire a professional to help you kind of figure that out. And you may need to get a Baskerville muzzle, which I've linked in the comments below. Oh, that's a big There we go. As one is getting used to, the others can be playing the simple game Find It, which you'll also find in my YouTube channel. Here, Skippy. Skippy. Here. Find it. Okay, last one to go. Wahoo!
going back to Rosie, meeting her brother Chase for the first time. Since she had so shown some territorial aggression, we uh, did take the procedure ultra slow and the family enlisted my help to ensure it all went smoothly. And boy, did it ever go smoothly. For more dog training tips, find us at Sarah Says Pets on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest lessons.